guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my son Corey's <laughs> nursery door. He just ran in. <laughs> this is my two year old son's nursery, so I would call it a big boy nursery. And um, we have a very minimalist aesthetic in our house, so it's a bit of a minimalist nursery, although not too much. And um, hi, and most of the items are Pottery Barn Kids, so I'm gonna call it a Pottery Barn Kids nursery tour. We are in our new home that we just moved into a few months ago so I've been making tours of each of the rooms as we do them up. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you want to see our day-to-day -day life, then definitely follow me on Instagram. Okay, I'm going to start with an overview of the room and then I'll walk you through like where things are from and things like that in case you're designing a nursery as well. So this is what the room Max looks like. Did. What did Max do? <laughs> As you walk in, this is just a quick overview of how the room looks. Let me just get a wider shot so you guys can see. Some of the things are similar from his old room. And then we've got a few new things for his new room. Okay, so we'll start over here. This is his Jack and Jill bathroom that he shares with his brother Max. Here is just a little print from Shutterfly that we made when he was born with his newborn photos. And then coming along over here, this is the rocking chair that we got when Max was born. So it's a few years old now. Honestly, the covers need to go to the dry clean. We've done them before. I even considered getting it recovered just because it's been through so much. But for now, it's okay. Um, that pillow I think was from Bed and Bath. I'm not sure it was a gift. Um, but the chair's like the most comfortable thing in the world, but the cover's just showing its age a little bit. Okay, then this is his name sign, which we just got recently from House of Rounds, an Etsy shop. I love it. I think it's so cute, and I have a matching one for his brother Max, so if we ever wanted to put the two signs together, like in their playroom or something, we could do that too. Then coming along over here, we have his bookshelf. This is from Restoration Hardware. We got this when Max was born. It's definitely an expensive piece, but I really love it and it served us well. I love having a bookshelf at this age that they can't reach because otherwise they just make a mess. Did you find my hair dryer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and then over here we keep more books. These bins are from Pottery Barn Kids as well. These like um, rope bins, I guess they're called. Um, so whatever books we're kind of reading at the moment, we just throw in there. This one I did have blankets in when he was little, little. Um, this is one of, from one of my favorite companies on Etsy, by the way. It's called Petunias. If you need anything personalized, they have awesome stuff. Um, but now we just keep more books in there. But I like having those two bins down there and then as well as the bookshelf so we kind of do a rotation. Then over here, this was Corey's Hanukkah present this year. It's a little house from Pottery Barn Kids. I do love it, but I will say my children are too rambunctious for this. Like maybe I should have waited till they're older, but when they get in here, they just want to like destroy it. You know I mean? Like they're two little boys. They just kind of wrestle in there. So I would say it's not been the best purchase, but I do think it's adorable. <laughs> Um, this bean bag is Pottery Barn Kids as well with his name on it. Max has a matching one. These window treatments, by the way, let's see if the camera will focus, are also Pottery Barn Kids and they are blackout, but because of how the window <laughs> is sized, they're not custom, so they do let in some light. So I actually have a blackout curtain if I need it that can go underneath from Amazon. My kids don't sleep in perfect <clears throat> blackout though so it's not a problem um, but just as an FYI then these stickers were from his old room I can't remember where I got them I think it was Etsy as well but they actually transferred which is pretty nice and then one of the new additions to his room is this batten board wall which we our contractor made for us and then we painted honestly it could use a second coat but <laughs> I think it looks so nice as a feature wall and what I love about it is I hope Corey will grow into it, or I should say I hope it grows with him. So when we don't no longer have a crib there and it's a real bed or he's an older boy, I think it'll still look good. The crib, by the way, is also Pottery Barn Kids and he's now old enough for a little blanket. 
and animals and pillows. Normally there's a ton more animals in here, but I just took it out because it looks a little crazy. <laughs> uh, that's his big bear. That's from Target. This bear was like $10, by the way. They had it like Christmas time. And then this dresser, if you guys have been watching my channel, you've seen since before Max was born. It's Macy's, and we love it. And then on top of it, just some special things. This is one of my favorite things. It's the night sky right over the spot where he was born, the night he was born. Like, this is exactly how the stars were aligned. Um, we do have a little bit of a star theme going on here, which I like. Oh, this also is kind of starry. Um, this is from Bookishly, a UK company. So yeah, a lot of like little personalized things. This is from his hospital blanket. We brought him home. This is one of those acrylic frames from Shutterfly that I love. So yeah, it's just some cute pictures of Gory. This name sign, I talked about this in Max's room, are just letters from Michael. So really inexpensive, like $5 each cute way to do a name sign and this is one of my favorite things I bought before he was born this toy box or toy bin is from a UK company called my first years it's so cute okay then on to his closet a little more in here than there is in Max's because he's getting all the hand-me-downs um, just a few things hung up some baby blankets that's where I put his clothes that he's too big for now that's really it. We also have a little storage bin down here, which I keep extra books in. Really stuff I need to sort through. But other than that, the closet's pretty empty. But yeah, just a few things. And then his one picture is from when he turned one. <laughs> and that's it. That's the nursery tour. So that is Corey's big boy nursery tour. I hope you guys liked it. Found some ideas up here looking for nursery ideas. Thank you so much for watching. You want to say hi you haven't said hi in your own room tour oh you want to show me your shirt i love this shirt it says s'mores not wars <laughs> do you like your room yeah what's your favorite part what's your favorite thing in your room hmm, hmm. is it mr bear yes yeah um so yeah to your old room tour thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye you say bye bye Bye-bye. Bye-bye.